Hey folks, time for another unboxing video. So, let's just get right into it, because I believe, well it says Wish, so it's... And I got two email notifications, one from Canada Post saying package delivered, and one from Wish saying your package has arrived. So, I'm, and it showed me a picture of what was in the package, so I'm going to be quite surprised if it isn't what's in the package. It's a convenient rip, so I'm just going to start cutting from there. Because, you know, so... Hey, Canada Post helped me open my package for my unboxing video. So, anyway, yep, that's what I thought it would be. No note or anything. Nope. So, it's a, another set of Bluetooth headphones, because they do tend to break. Well, headphones in general tend to break, especially if they have the hinges where they can fold up and go in your pocket. Maybe I should stop ordering, or do Bluetooth headphones only come in the variety that allows you to fold them up, put them in your pocket? Anything like when, you know, when the flip phones were first introduced, a big argument against them was that it's one more point of breaking. If you drop a, a, full, a flip phone on the ground, it's more likely to break on that hinge. If you have a, a single piece, a one piece phone, like my phone that I'm recording this on, it's a lot less likely to break. But if it breaks, it breaks a bit impressively, I guess. But folding it up, of course, allows it to be shipped a little bit easier. That's the cord, I presume. I'll have a look at that in a minute. So, nothing else in the box. The box is in a little bit sorry shape anyway, but it came all the way from Asia, so it's bound to be a little bit rough shape. So, it looks like there's some extra plastic for those environmentalists who are watching my video. So, yeah, it looks like all the, all the external surfaces are covered with some plastic, which is nice. Keep it from being scratched when I, you know when it's in transit, so I don't think I'm going to need to keep any of this, I don't think. And I've uh, since realized that I don't like the headphones that have the small ear pads, so I'm making a point of getting the ones with the big ear pads. So, does it say? That's the left, okay. So, fits nice, goes all the way over my ears, so I assume I need to charge it before I can start using it. Oh, there's even a, a volume thing. Well, most headphones do have a volume thing, but this... No, that's not volume. That's like a toggle of some kind. So it's got a slot right there for a, a micro SD card. It's got a stereo jack. And it's got this thing here, which is just basically you'd go like that. So maybe that's the power button, or maybe fast forward or rewind or something. Of course, the USB connector. And ending on this side. Nope. Okay. And how do I... Okay, so that would be the power button there. Or the, I assume, power button. I can't turn it on now, obviously, because it's not charged. It just came from Asia. So, and of course, they fold up nicely. Um, yeah, well... And the rubber head cushion thing is coming off a little bit, but that's secondary. I like the color scheme. I try to get a different color set of headphones. My cat's trying to eat the plastic now. Try to get a nice... A different color scheme every time. I mean, I got a green pair that broke. I got a blue pair. It's a little bit darker than that blue. They broke. I got uh, the original white and gold set actually just broke like this couple of days ago before filming this. So um, I managed to Frankenstein the head, the headband piece, this part here, onto the in the inner part of that because it was. This part here that cracked, like the hinge, like I was just talking about. And one of the hinges broke the other day, so I took the headband thing off of one set of headphones, which is also broken in that spot, and I put them on the set that was the more comfortable set to wear. And unfortunately now, it's cracked on the other side, so I had to decide if I'm going to keep it and do it again with some other set of headphones. That who knows how long this... I may get a week out of these, I may get a year out of these... Who knows? Well, hopefully I'll get a good bit of time out of these. I like getting my money's worth, even if it isn't quite my money's worth. If it costs like 5 or $10 to buy a set of headphones like this, shipping included, it's kind of nice. Let's have a look through that bag. I'm pretty sure it's the charging cable. And some instructions, looks like. In easy-to-read Chinese, no doubt. Oh, okay. Comes with, it actually comes with its own stereo wire, which is convenient because it has a serial wire plug in it and here's the charging cable which i may or may not use because i have enough i have more than enough of those and is this a sticker qualified so 
so it was a system. Okay, so I don't think I've gotten one of those before. Anyway, model and yeah, all right, so I don't know what to do with that. If it's a sticker, I'll probably put it on my laptop for the sake of putting another sticker on my laptop. So that's it for this week's unboxing video. Uh, and by the way, in case you had noticed, I'm wearing the MLW retro shirt from the last unboxing video I did. So let's see what's in the next one.